This video shows a demonstration of the digital interface between a DataTel telemetry system and the EDAS-DS data acquisition system with real-time monitoring. The interface between the telemetry system and the data acquisition system is completely digital. The EDAS-DS software retrieves all the setup information and the data from the DataTel digital receiver. This rig was built specifically to show acquisition, transmission, and display of strange gauge data from a real rotor. The rig uses an 8-bladed rotor connected to an arbor, which is mounted to a drive system of an electric motor. Ten dynamic strain gauges are mounted to six of the eight blades at various locations, as you can see here. As the rotor spins, the blades will rotate past a stationary magnet which provides a dynamic stimulus to the blades. The frequency of the stimulus varies with the speed of the rotor. We will measure the dynamic strain on the instrumented blades as the rotor accelerates and decelerates. An optical speed sensor, not visible, will measure the speed of the rotor. The lead wires for the strain gauges are routed to a printed circuit board on the rear side of the telemetry transmitter carrier. The printed circuit board interfaces to a Datatel DT6001. It's a 10-channel dynamic strain module inside the carrier. This is where the signal will be conditioned, sampled, and transmitted to the Datatel receiver. The module includes 10 thermocouple channels as well, but these are not being used for this demonstration. Other modules are available to condition and transmit data from a variety of other sensor types. The transmitted signal is a digital RF signal. The signal is then broadcast from a receiver over Ethernet to a computer running the EDAS-DS software where it is processed and broadcast for display and recording. The telemetry system is inductively powered. Setup for the telemetry is performed using the Datatel web GUI. This interface provides configuration control, power control, and system administration functions to include management of IP addresses and signal conditioning inside the transmitter module. Once activated, the system continuously transmits data from the sensors to the network through the receiver. We will now launch the EDAS-DS software application. Support for the Datatel telemetry data stream is contained under the local AD device input. By pressing the refresh button, EDAS-DS pulls the Datatel receiver and automatically sets up the EDAS-DS software. Sensor names, calibration values, and other setup specific information automatically populates the EDAS-DS setup panels. Because the speed signal is not being transmitted through the telemetry system, EDAS-DS provides a mechanism to use a synchronized A to D for speed decoding. Here we establish the speed input and provide speed display on the EDAS-DS GUI. Pressing OK pushes the setup to the system. The rig has a digital voltage control, which supplies power to the electric motor. Pressing the up button will begin a sweep up in voltage to the motor causing the rotor to accelerate. The rotor does not immediately begin to spin because the motor must first overcome the static magnet attraction between the rotor and the magnet. As the rotor begins to spin, you can see that the data from the transmitter is being displayed on the EDAS-DS graphical user interface. The diagram in the upper left of the GUI shows the time domain trace from one of the channels. All other diagrams shown will display real-time Campbell diagrams, which are displays of frequency against rotor speed. Tick marks are drawn on the diagrams with size proportional to the magnitude of vibration at a particular frequency. 
EDAS-DS performs all frequency domain computations in real time and makes these data available for display and recording in real time. The rotor will accelerate past the magnet over a range of speed from 0 to about 4300 RPMs. As it speeds up, the frequency of the excitation the blades experience increases. Because there is only one magnet, the resonant frequencies of the rotor are excited at various harmonics, causing the blades to resonate at the same frequency over the entire speed range. This is shown by blossoms on the Campbell diagram. We will now demonstrate some of the interactive features of the display. All Campbell diagrams can be changed to display the data in a number of ways. Here we have selected the diagram on the top row of the display next to the time domain trace. We will change the plotting symbol being used from a single-sided tick mark to a circle. All EDAS-DS engineering diagrams are fully interactive. Here we select EO4 and create a 4EO tracking plot interactively. For the Campbell diagram, thresholding and scaling are also interactive. Changes can also be applied to all similar plots on a page or all plots in the system. And this concludes the demonstration of the Datatel telemetry system and the EDAS-DS data acquisition system. If you require any additional information, please contact us at info at edasglobal.com.